If you know someone that has a pollinator or wildlife habitat in their yard, there is no better gift you can give them than a field guide to help them identify the critters that they have attracted. I'm going to cover several of Shannon and I's favorite field guides that we use on an almost daily basis, identifying things around the farm. Before I jump into the guides, I would like to say that everything on this list costs under $30, except for one item, and there are links in the description for all of them, including the Kindle versions if available. Let's kick it off with some field guides to birds. First up is my go-to bird field guide. The National Geographic Field Guide to the Birds of North America, 7th edition. This is an excellent field guide and it covers all of the United States. The illustrations of the birds point out the field marks used to identify them and the range maps are color coded by season. An easy to use field guide that is hard to beat. Next is the Peterson Field Guide to the Birds of Eastern and Central North America, 7th edition. This is another great guide that has the same type of field mark identifying illustrations and color coded range maps as the Nat Geo Guide. I know a few birders that prefer it and it is a little bit less expensive than the Nat Geo Guide is. There is also a Peterson Guide for the Birds of Western North America. I have both of them linked in the description. If you know a nature lover whose ornithological skills are a little bit more advanced, the Warbler Guide may be the perfect gift for them. This is an in-depth guide to identifying the often tough to ID warblers in any season. The color photos are outstanding and include field mark descriptions. Color range maps are coded for season and the species descriptions include behaviors and song sonograms. A deep dive into the warblers that any advanced birder will find interesting and helpful. The warbler guide is also available on Kindle. Another great gift idea for the advanced birder that wants to take their bird identification skills to the next level is the Stokes Field Guide to Birdsong's Eastern Region. There's nothing quite as awesome as being able to hear birds and know what they are without having to see them. This guide is available as a CD or on Audible. If you haven't tried Audible yet, you can sign up for a free one month, no strings attached trial and get the Stokes Birdsong Guide free with it. It's hard to beat that. I have a link to the free Audible trial in the description below. Maybe you know somebody that prefers their critters a little less feathery and a little scalier. Got you covered. The Peterson Field Guide to the Reptiles and Amphibians of Eastern and Central North America has been the guide for these critters for a long time. My copy has been on many field herping trips. It's an older edition and I really do need to update it. This guide is set up differently than the Peterson Bird Guides and has color illustrations with field marks pointed out and descriptions and range maps in the rear of the book. There's a decent amount of info given on each species, and this format allows for that. There's also a Peterson Guide to the Reptiles and Amphibians of Western North America. Both are linked in the description. If you love all the critters that are attracted to your habitat projects, please pollinate that like button. Time for some pollinator guides. Starting off with the Kaufman Field Guide to Butterflies of North America. If you have a butterfly lover in your life, this is the perfect gift for them. This is the guide I reach for when I need to identify a butterfly. Set up much like a bird guide with illustrations highlighting field marks and color-coded seasonal range maps. Sure to be a hit with any butterfly gardener. Not to leave out the moths, next up is the Peterson Field Guide to the Moths of Northeastern North America. This guide is set up similar to the Peterson Bird Guides with species illustrations and accompanying range maps. There is also the Peterson Field Guide to Moths of Southeastern North America for those that live in that area. A butterfly garden should be full of caterpillar host plants and any butterfly gardener would be excited to receive a book to help them identify all those cool leaf chompers. For this there is Caterpillars of Eastern North America, a guide to identification and natural history. This is an excellent book and one of the most used in my library. Complete with color pictures of caterpillars, adults, description of range, behaviors, and of course, host plants. I rate this book as a must have for the serious butterfly gardener. And as a bonus, it is also available on Kindle. The pollinators everyone thinks of when you say pollinators are the bees. There are hundreds of species of native bees and to help you sort them out is the awesome book, The Bees in Your Backyard, A Guide to North America's Bees. This is a general guide and will identify native bees to genus. Identification beyond that 
require specialized keys, and often a microscope. Still, I recommend this book highly to anybody that wants to learn more about the bees that they are finding in their backyard habitats. This book is also available on Kindle. The Cousins of the Bees. The wasp also frequent pollinator gardens and can be just as beautiful. Wasp, A Guide for Eastern North America is a well-written and wonderfully illustrated book with color photos that any wasp aficionado would love to receive. It is a larger book and isn't truly a field guide, but it is a great resource to have for identifying wasp that you have taken pictures of. It is another book in my library that gets a ton of use. If you are ordering field guides as a gift, either for a friend, a relative, or yourself, you deserve it. Go ahead and treat yourself. And you just can't wait to get all that awesome knowledge. A free trial of Amazon Prime will get it to you faster. Plus, you get to try out a ton of other Prime benefits, all for free. There is a link in the description for a free trial of Amazon Prime. Check it out. There are many flies that mimic bees and wasps and are also important pollinators. For the pollinator gardener in your life that wants to kick their entomological skills up to the next level, I recommend The Field Guide to Flower Flies of Northeastern North America. Although it is aimed at the Northeast, this guide is applicable to most of the Eastern United States. This is an in-depth guide for the flower flies and it covers a lot of species. Most guides that cover a single group of insects that go into this amount of detail cost far more. The guide to flower flies is a huge bargain and would make a great addition to any pollinator library. You can get it for an even bigger bargain as it is available on Kindle. Did you think I was going to get through this gift guide without including a field guide to beetles? Of course not. The Peterson Field Guide to Beetles of North America is an excellent guide to the commonly found beetle species. It includes both color and black and white species illustrations and detailed species descriptions habitat accounts, and behavioral details. If you know someone with a pollinator garden, they are gonna see beetles, lots of them. So get them a guide so they can sort them all out. And now a guide for those specialized beetles we all know and love because they can light up their butts. The fireflies. Fireflies, glowworms, and lightning bugs, identification and natural history of the fireflies of the Eastern and Central United States and Canada is the perfect gift for the person who loves fireflies or is curious about the species they find. This book goes deep into fireflies and will help identify them by markings, flash patterns, habitat, and range. A must have for any nature lover. If you feel like you need some time with the plants after all this critter talk, check out the videos on this playlist and be sure to get out and explore nature in your backyard.